Hello, my name is Zoha and I'm a Year 6 tutor at Think Academy UK. We've seen the question that you sent in and our team here at Think Academy UK, we've had a lot of fun uh, trying to solve this question and I was actually, um, you know, I actually got the answer so I'm going to be taking you through the method on how to approach questions like these. So this question is um, finding the odd one out, okay? And we've got different shapes and well, we've got different um, kinds of patterns and we have to work out a method for that. Now, the first thing that I identified was that the proportions of the shaded and unshaded parts were different in each of the shapes, whereas the top part is similar in all, so we can kind of ignore that, okay? And now we're going to be working out the shaded of the, uh, we're gonna work out the fraction of the shaded and the unshaded part for each fraction, okay? And for each question, okay? So for A, we know that we have six shaded parts and we know that we've got 12 parts all together so the fraction for the shaded over the unshaded would be 6 over 12. For B we've got six shaded parts okay and we've got 11 unshaded parts right. For C we've got four shaded parts and we've got 10 parts all together or 10 triangles all together. For D as you can see we've got let's count the triangles uh, shaded triangles we've got three shaded triangles over nine triangles all together. And over here, we've got two shaded triangles over eight triangles all together. So now that we've got a, um, you know, we've got all the fractions for all of these um, options, we see that the, the denominator is decreasing by one. So we've got 12 goes to 11, 11 goes to 10, 10 goes to nine, 10 goes to eight. So we're seeing some sort of pattern here. Over here, we see, let's have a look at the last three terms. We know that four decreases by one to three, three decreases by one to two. So now we should be able to see that B is the odd one out because six doesn't decrease by one to give us five. It actually stays constant, okay? So B is our odd one out, right? And let's see, so for B to actually fit in this pattern, right, what would it have to be? Well, it would have to be five over 11 because we see that the numerator, which is the top part of the fraction, decreases by one each time and the denominator, which is the bottom part of the um, fraction, decreases by one each time too. So that is the pattern and whenever you have a question like this, with shaded parts, always try to work out the fraction of the shaded over the unshaded.